Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about doing some modeling. Like Mr. Brust here, modeling this fancy, fancy sunglasses and the mustache looking good. Or over here, suave Mr. Brust with the scarf and a jacket, a poncho, I don't know. And clearly showing how he is getting paid by the Apple business as he eats this apple during the modeling. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about modeling with equations and what that means. All right, so we're gonna be doing some stuff that you've done a lot of already, but um, we're just gonna now have to come up with the equations on our own. All right, so first and foremost, let's see here. Let's do this one. Oh, modeling a bow tie, way to go, Mr. Brust. All right, so we have two equations here, and we want to find an equation, and then we want to solve it. All right, so let's talk about some important words down here. Sum is important, right? Sum means addition. Twice means I multiply by two. Um, is means it's equal. So let's see, I want the sum of a number and 11. So the sum of a number and 11, that's these two things, all right? And I want twice that sum. So I want twice that sum and it's gonna equal 24. Okay, so if we solve that, we have to divide both sides by two. Then I have n plus 11 equals 12. Subtract 11 from both sides, and then we get n equals one. All right, let's come down here and look at some. So I have sum again, now I have twice again, and I have is. Now this question is just a little bit different, and I did this on purpose, so the sum of twice a number. So I'm not doing twice the sum. See up here, I did twice the sum. Here I'm doing twice a number, so twice a number and 11. So the sum of those two things added together, slightly different, is 24. Now let's see how this changes things. I need to subtract 11 here. And I get 2n equals 13. I need to divide by 2 on both sides. And then I get my n is 6 and a half. Okay? So we have a little bit different um, situation, but very similar, okay, and, and that's going to come up a lot. That's why I chose us very specifically. All right, here we go. Mr. Kelly, oh, you're going to get to meet Mr. Kelly soon. I can't wait for that. You guys are going to love him. He's the best. Mr. Kelly loves model airplanes. He went to the store and bought three new model airplanes. So I'm going to I'm going to underline that. That's important. Three new model airplanes for five ninety five each. So. 3 times 595. I want to write that down there because that's how much you paid for that. All right. I wonder what that cost is. We can multiply that together and we would get 1785. Okay. So he spent $17.85 on model airplanes. Woo. He also bought some glue. All right. All total, he spent $22.50. So, all right. Let's think about this. Total means I want to add everything up, right? So, I'm probably going to add some things. Okay, let's see. What is the unknown in this situation? Well, I know what he bought. He bought some planes, right? He bought some glue, and it equaled some money. We know how much the planes cost, $17.85. We know how much he spent total, so the only unknown is the glue. All right? So I'm going to say... The glue is unknown, and in fact, it's really the price of the glue, right? We don't know how much he spent on the glue, all right? So what would be a good variable for that? I'm going to say G, right? G for glue. All right, so let's come up with an equation. So I know how much the planes cost. That was seventeen eighty-five plus the glue, and that is going to equal... Our total bill of $22.50. Okay? Now, this one's not that hard to solve. I mean, there's some decimals, but the opposite of adding 1785 
is subtracting 1785 So the amount of money we spent on glue would be $4.65. Now let's think about this. Is this a reasonable answer? I, I want you to think about this. So this is kind of like the check, but I really always want you to, to think in your head, is this reasonable? Is it reasonable that he could have spent $4.65 on glue? Well, I don't know the price of glue off the top of my head. Do you? Maybe you do. You might. But I do know that glue shouldn't cost $20 or $100, so it's probably around 5 bucks, maybe. So is that a reasonable answer? Sure, that's a reasonable answer, so we're going to circle that, and that is our answer. Now notice we have a units here of dollars, so we know that the glue is going to cost $4.65. Very important that we include those units all the time, all right? All right, let's try another one. Mr. Brush is struggling to keep his dogs in a rectangular, that seems, that's always important, yard, shaped yard, so he wants to build a wall. He knows that the perimeter, oh, perimeter, of his yard is 46 meters, and the width is 8 meters. What is the length of the yard? All right, find a model for the situation, to find, and uh, we need to solve it. Mr. Brust is down here um, modeling, I believe it's called a gi or something, not a gi, a belt, but it's for uh, martial arts. All right, let's talk about this for a second. Rectangle, I'm going to draw a rectangle the best I can, which is not very good. I know the width is 8, and I do not know the length. So let's talk about perimeter. We know that the perimeter equals the total way around here. So I have two of these lengths and two of these um, widths. In fact, it's two times length plus width. So what do we know? Well, we know the perimeter, so we know that. We know the width, we don't know the length. So I'm gonna say L is for length of the yard, it's very important to be specific, and you definitely need to define what the variable is every time, okay? So let's look up here and let's see what we can do. So perimeter, we know 46 equals 2 times L is the thing I don't know, but I do know the width is 8. All right, so let's solve this. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. And then I have... 23 equals the length plus 8. The opposite of adding 8 is subtracting 8. And that gives me the length would be 15. We need a unit here, 15 meters. All right, let's look at this and see, again, does it make sense? Is it possible that the length could be 15 meters? Well, 15 plus 8, that would be 23. Two of those for the whole perimeter would be 46. So that looks like it makes sense to me. Hopefully that makes sense to you as well. All right, so what I want you to do right now is pause the video, and I want you to try this one on your own. All right, see what you can do. Make sure you define variables. There's a very obvious variable um, for this one, but uh, you may not want to use it, and we'll talk about why in just a second. All right, so go ahead, pause the video. All right, so I have this right here. I put down this, um, the amount of, of money total is going to be whatever the kid starts with, plus how much he gets for every orange. Okay, now, when I came down to define my variables, I did not use O for orange, I used F fruit f is the number of oranges and the reason is that o looks a lot like a zero and if i use o as a variable it could get me in a lot of trouble because i could be multiplying by zero so i would recommend don't use o all right i would also recommend if you ever use l that you use a cursive l because an l could be a one right so you just gotta be careful all right so let's look over here so the amount of money we start with he started with 
75 cents. Then he adds 35 cents for every orange. So if he had two oranges, I would multiply and I'd have 70 cents more. All right, that meant I am multiplying here and the total is 17.55. You can see here I subtracted and I divided and in the end I got 48 oranges. All right, 48 oranges. Does that answer make sense? You could check it out, plug in 48 and see if it makes sense to you. But one of the things I noticed is that I'm dealing with decimals. And let me just think here, you know, um, this is maybe three oranges for a dollar, right? So this could be about right. All right. So good luck on your mastery check. Just remember, if Mr. Brust can model fancy scarves and fancy sunglasses with that fake mustache, then you can model equations. All right, best of luck. I'll see you next time.